Tuesday. Do, 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 do. Happy Tuesday, yeah. everybody. Happy July 5th. Wow. Uh, here's hoping you had a happy 4th with everybody. This morning, we are asking a question. Do you still have and listen to CDs? Because evidently, in the last year, there's been an uptick in CD sales. About time. Do you guys listen to CDs? Well, I told you earlier this morning, last night, ironically, not even knowing about this, I had this gigantic box Opened it up, and it must have been, there must be 150 CDs in there. Awesome. So, yeah, I, I still have a whole collection, even more of those out in storage. I, I probably have all together maybe 500 CDs. All wow. Together. Yeah. Wow. I, wow. Should either, I should either give them away or listen to them. <laughs> it's going to be a long time listening. And, and, and you, have, you brought props. Yeah, I brought props today. You know, I came prepared for show and tell. I was actually listening to one of my old CDs in my car on the way here, so I got some Eric Clapton in here. Nice. We got a band called Bass Hunter. There's actually no disc. It's uh, AWOL Nation in there. <laughs> okay. uh, I've never listened to this one, but I have it ready. That's uh, Robert Gordon. But this is yeah. this is my, my pride and joy right here. This right there, this was made for me in eighth grade. It's evidently Chris's mix. Chris's mix, as you can see. Nice little swirly swirls. <laughs> I even remember it. It was Kim Taylor. But I, uh, this is. it starts off with a good favorite, uh, Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. There you go. Goes really so, Bon Jovi yeah. and Santana heavy, and then finishes up with Charlie Daniels Band. So, wow. Yeah. So are they worth money? Quite or are eclectic. people selling them? Or what's no, the actually, you, good question. Let us know. Do you still listen to CDs? And in the meantime, here's a Connect the Dots on why this is happening. Are your old CDs ready to be dusted off? Let's connect the dots. For the first time in nearly two decades, CDs saw an increase in sales. Over 46.6 million CDs were shipped around the country last year. Still a long way from the compact disc's selling peak. Last year, CDs only made up about 4% of total music revenue. Despite that, experts say the increase in sales is mostly due to mega artists like Adele and BTS releasing new albums. Music experts also think more people see CDs as memorabilia rather than just a way to play music. So how can you get back into the CD game? For most albums, you'll still be able to pick them up at Target or even at Walmart. And you may already have a CD player around your home. Game systems like the Xbox One have a CD feature built in. And desktop computers can also play your favorite albums. And that is Connecting Dots. So, so there you like, go. It's not like vinyl that came back. Vi vinyl is, there are audiophiles yes. who listen to vinyl and say that it is autistic, uh, uh, orally yeah. much better than any other, you know, than the digital format. So yeah. I, see that. I, don't, I don't think DVDs, I mean, CDs will come back because... What, about, like what, about, what about DVDs? A DVD. <laughs> I have a lot of those. See, yeah, I have I, a lot I mean, of Blu-rays. Like, I, I thought that was the I, big thing, and now everything is just a digital copy. Yeah. Uh, for some yeah. folks weighing in, Melissa, um, she does not listen to CDs, but ordered an autographed one from an old artist in the 80s that, uh, that she still listens to. Nice. Um, Joy says, still listens to CDs uh, as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I guess it, it, it depends. As we mentioned in the, that setup piece, Evidently, because there are several big artists that had albums last year yeah. that helped drive it. And I will say, I don't know that I have any CDs anymore. I think I might have gotten rid of all of them. Can you but remember the last one you listened to, though? I, I don't. I, I don't. say it's not a frontal memory. I, I don't. I, but I, I will say there was nothing better than the tangible, tech, tactile yeah, yeah. Thing of opening a CD and looking at the you know album album art oh, like and going through booklets. the li when they had the lyrics in them. Oh my gosh, I always enjoyed having them like why, that. That's why I always have loved albums yeah. because albums have the beautiful artwork and then there's all the you can read, you can actually see yes, yes. the album notes on there. That's I think that's why a lot of people love vinyl is because you know it, speaking of tactical tactile. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you have the record player, you put that totally. on the needle on there and track it. Yeah, I, I, I like the fit physical thing, like as you were just saying. This is actually Ed Sheeran, so they're still putting these out. Well, the thing is, so. every band, regardless of the band, still releases albums on CDs. And you, if you go to a concert today, especially some of the local concerts, uh, all the local bands, they sit, they have a little you know mm -hmm. display yeah. area with pictures of the band, and they sell the CDs, too. So they're still out there. They haven't gone away. Um, somebody says, Team iPhone Apple Music. Um, yes, Apple Music is yeah. is, is popular. Um, streaming is the way to go now. Mark says uh, CDs just hold more digital information than any streaming source. If you're into sound quality, it's the best source. Well, mm -hmm. that's debatable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have a gigantic debate about that, about digital sound versus the old... Uh, 
ancient history sound of yeah. vinyl because I mean vinyl, the, yeah. people there are vinyl audiophiles who just say that it is it is much more of a pure sound rather yes. than the the compressed sound that you get with digital. Yeah, and it's just not the same whether it's whether it's a vinyl or whether it's a CD or I mean. Goodness, if you have a tape, tape, or, tape, tapes or, or, or eight <laughs> yeah. tracks, um, you know, I yeah. think th there's something nice to be said about having those things. Um, I don't remember my first CD necessarily, but what was the per first piece of music that you Ooh. purchased, whether it was vinyl or otherwise? we got to remember that, you know, v I kind of was a lucky guy because I got into radio in yes. 14, and so th that was free. That was oh, okay. <laughs> a little freezer. But the first record that I actually bought, I think I bought uh, probably something by The Temptations. I think it Get Ready, the song Get Ready yeah. for The Temptations. Yeah, first one. It's a great one. Yeah. Ben, what about you? I'm excited. For um, I think it was an actual record. It wasn't even a tape. I think yeah. it was a, a small little record. Um, the Bengals walk like an Egyptian. Nice. <laughs> That's a good stuff. Mine is also an 80s tune right yeah, there. Right, I know. Yeah. Mine is also yeah. a single, and uh, I will boldly say this is a five year old. The first <laughs> request I had was a single for Don't Break Your Heart, Your Achy Breaky Heart by uh, oh. know, Ray Cyrus. Yeah, another So classic. I listened to that on repeat, my poor parents, yeah. for I think about two uh, years. Did you, have, did you have the mullet too in honor of Actually, you yeah. know what's really weird is my mom let me choose my own hairstyles, uh, and yeah, I wanted yeah, it short yeah, on top, yeah, long. In the yeah. bag. There you go. I gave yeah. myself. Uh, this he was my party idol. in the back. Yeah, there that's what go. I was as a five-year-old kindergarten. There you go. I little like it. Billy Ray. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, folks, continue to weigh in. Do you still have CDs? Do you still listen to them? Let us know, and we we'll stay back here tomorrow for another edition of Wake Up Charlotte to go.